Hey, what's up everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. In this lesson, we're going to talk about segways and navigation controllers. We're on to 3.6, so let's keep this ball rolling. We're going to go ahead and get started with the new project. So let's go down here to Xcode. And we're going to call this, you can call it whatever you want to. We'll just stick with the book's title for now. We'll just say Triggered Segways. Triggered Segways. For this project, all right, make sure you don't have to have an organization name or none of that stuff. Um, you can just do com dot your, your name right here in the organization identifier. Again, make sure the language is at Swift and we can leave all of this stuff unchecked for now. We're gonna hit next. And then I'll save it to my projects folder. And I'm gonna hit create. And we're gonna get started. I'm gonna expand this. So it takes up the full screen. All right, and then I'm gonna to go to the main storyboard. So what are segways? In app development, you need to learn how to work with segways. Segways basically represent a transition from one screen or or view to the next. And almost every app that you have on your device, whether it be your iPhone or your iPad, whatever the case may be, it probably has more than one screen. There's, you know, like a lot of apps don't have just one screen nowadays. You know, they transition to different screens. And you can do that through segways. And segways can be configured programmatically through code, or you can do it here through Interface Builder. And that's what we're gonna do in in this particular lesson so we're going to do we're going to use a couple different segues all right and so i'm going to change my simulator to our iphone 8 and i will move me over here to the corner nobody puts baby in the corner but i'm not a baby so here we go so we got our first view controller on and, and interface builder and we're going to change the color of this just so we can kind of tell the difference because we're going to be working with a few different um, views uh, in this lesson so make sure that you are you are on it and you go over to your attributes inspector you can change it to whatever color you want I'm going to change my background color to let's see uh, I'll go other Let's change it. Go to like, I go to that blue. That's a pretty cool looking bluish color. All right. And then we're going to put a button on our screen. So we'll type button over in the objects library, drag it out into the middle, to the center, horizontally and vertically. And instead of keeping this title of this button, button, I'm going to change it to something different. I'm going to say go to to second view and I'm going to click on the button again and then remember the trick to make it equal with just enough space is you click on the button itself or the you know whatever the um, you know the label or the button is and you go command and equal on your keyboard and it'll create just enough space for you I'm gonna recenter it and then I am going to set some constraints for it to horizontally center and vertically center in the container and hit add to constraints. All right, and now I'm going to add a second view controller on the screen. And I'm going to make this color, let's say I wanted to do an orange, I'll do an orange here. And actually this is what I'll do. I'll change this title to say, go to orange VC. Let's keep it like that. There we go. And then for this orange VC, I'm gonna put another button on here. Or actually, I'll just wait for now. So this is what we wanna do. So we wanna do a segue. So, 
we want to make sure so we want to as soon as this button is tapped the go to orange vc button is tapped we want to show this orange vc and again the only reason why i'm using the different you know different colors is just so we can show uh, the difference and actually you know show that we are changing to a different vc or view controller so this is what we're going to do just like with ib outlets and ib actions we're going to click on our button. You can do it from here or the document outline here. But we're gonna do it here. We're gonna control, click and drag. And as you can see the blue line, and while we're on the orange VC or whatever color VC you have, as soon as it highlights, you can release. And then there's a couple different segues that pop up. You got show, show detail, present modally, present as popover, custom. You got all different kinds, but we're going to focus on just show for now. So we're going to click on show. And we have our segue that just popped up here. We won't work with that for now, but we're, you know, we're going to leave that blank. But our segue is here. And now we can add another button to our orange VC. And the same thing, I'm going to center it vertically and horizontally. And I'm going to drag. Before I do anything, I'm going to drag another view controller on the storyboard. And I'm going to make this one, I'm going to change this color to, I'll say purple. And then uh, I'll change the opacity of this because it's really, really dark. So I'll make it a little lighter by dragging that bar. 50 cool all right so got that done and now i'm going to change this button's title on the orange vc to go to purple vc and i'm going to click on it and i'm going to hit command and the equal sign just so it gives it enough space come on now and then I'm going to recenter it. And then I'm going to set some constraints horizontally center and vertically center in container. Add that. All right, bam, there we go. Now, for now, we're just going to leave it like this. So let's go ahead and build and run our app uh, at this level. And then we'll work with our third VC. So I'm hit, I just hit Command R to run it. And we will see our transition hopefully keep your fingers crossed right all right cool so we have our our bluish color view controller up our first vc and i'm going to go ahead and tap on the button go to orange vc and let's see if that works bam so as you can see uh, i know it was kind of quick it it really really it popped up kind of like a uh, that's how a modal type of a view controller or segue will pop up so like say for instance in your mail app in your iOS device when you're when you go from reading a, an email to you know you and you hit the compose button the uh, screen will transition from bottom to top and that's just what happened here um, and that's because we don't have a navigation controller yet and a navigation controller just basically controls and manages all the different uh, view controllers that you have uh, on your storyboard and it's presented uh, just with a bar you know here at the very top and so we don't have that yet but you know that's basically what navigation controllers would do but we'll get to that in a later lesson so i'm going to go ahead and stop it for now and i'm going to go to the purple one now for this purple one it's going to be a little bit different so we want to get back to our first VC. And so this is what we're going to do here. So instead of, you know, transitioning to another one, we're not going to add a fourth VC. We're just going to say dismiss for this button. So we're going to say dismiss. And again, I'm going to command and hit the equal sign just to give it enough space. Make sure it is centered uh, vertically and horizontally in the container. Add two constraints. All right, cool. Now, one thing to note is that this, our, our original, our first view controller is of type. If you go over to the uh, to the class, the, to the custom class inspector or the identity inspector, you'll see that 
it is of a type view controller. Now these other ones don't have a, a custom class to it and they are just a normal UI view controller. And as you can see, once you click on them, you'll see that, see, it's just in the background, it's just the, you know by default because we didn't add another view controller for these different ones and we don't need to right now. I just wanted to show you guys that and then we'll go to the purple one and the same thing. You know, it's just set to the default UI view controller. All right, so we're back at our first view controller and I'm gonna go into the actual file itself. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this override, did receive memory warning function. We don't need it. We're not building a huge app. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We want to transition back from our last VC uh, which for me is the purple one back to the first one, the bluish color. And so this is what we're going to do. We want to create an IB action. So we're going to go, we're going to use the at symbol IB action. And we want to say, it's, it's going to be an unwind function. So we're going to say funk unwind, unwind to uh, blue. And then inside we're going to do a parameter we're going to say uh, unwind unwind segue and it's going to be a UI storyboard segue that's very important to have that all right so unwind to blue unwind segue that's what we're going to do we're not going to have any code in there right now but I'm going to show you how it works so we're going to go ahead and save this file by hitting command s on our keyboard and as you can see right now, it's currently like the little translucent black color over here in the, navig in the file navigator. And then when we hit Command S, it'll change back to a solid color. All right, so it's saved. And now back on our storyboard, uh oh, I move this over. Back on our storyboard, we'll go back to this dismiss uh, button and we will control click and drag from the button. And we're gonna go up to this exit button here at the top of the of the view controller all right and we're going to release so control click and drag from the dismiss button and then once the the blue or you know the exit button you're on it and it's highlighted you can you can release and as you can see it says action segue unwind to blue unwind segue that's the only one that we have and that's what we want so we'll just click on that and to to check to make sure that it did get connected if you go back over to the the first view controller, you can go to your connections inspector and yeah, we see received actions unwind to blue with unwind segue. All right, so let's see if it, so let's see if it really worked. Let's go ahead and run our app once more, hitting command R, or you can just hit the play button at the top if you want. And we're gonna see what we have. So we should be able to transition from our from our blue one to our orange one. And then once we get to the last one, to our purple one, and we hit the dismiss button, it should hop back over to the to the first view controller. All right, so I'm going to click on this button. Uh, the orange one popped up, and now I'm going to go from the orange one to the purple one, hopefully. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's my bad. I haven't connected it yet. All right. So again, so we're gonna control click and drag from the orange one to the purple one, release, and we're gonna go show. And now everything should work. So that's my fault. It happens sometimes. It happens to the best of us. All right, let's go. orange to the purple that's kind of dark and then i'm going to hit this dismiss button all right and it worked cool all right guys that's the end of this lesson make sure you stay tuned for more in the next lessons we're going to be getting into the navigation controllers so be sure to follow along thank you guys for joining me this is st r edwards with swift coding for everyone you guys take care